All right. So my name is Isaac Maybauer. I'm a third year uh, undergrad student here at IUPUI, and currently I'm doing my undergrad research in Dr. Hubel's lab. But first of all, why am I doing or why did I decide to do undergrad research is I just have a passion for exercise. I love exercise and I just am very interested in how it affects fitness, health, and uh, different disease states. And my ultimate goal is to earn a PhD in exercise science. So my first, my initial experience in undergrad research was actually in Dr. Riley's lab where they had two studies going on, both using TDCS, which is this right here, uh, transcranial direct current stimulation, which is these two little pads give a very slight uh, electric stimulation to a part of the motor cortex, which causes a movement in this situation of the hand muscle. And then this over here on the right is a TMS, a trans transcranial magnetic stimulation, which with this wand depolarizes the same parts of the motor cortex and it's used to measure uh, resting motor threshold, which is basically what's the minimum amount of intensity to stimulate that neuron that controls that muscle in the hand. And it also is used for long and short intracortical inhibition and facilitation, which one, the facilitation is an excitatory phenomenon and the inhibition is obviously an inhibitory phenomenon. And the way that works is this wand gives two impulses of, of various intensities and over a various time. So either very close together of the same intensity or over a, a longer period of time of different intensities. And that either causes an excitation or an inhibition of the neurons in the brain. And these are the key points of the studies. Uh, the two studies were, one was a video game using both hands, and then the other was a keyboard task, kind of like this, just using the non-dominant hand. And a little X would pop up, and you'd have to click the button as fast as, and accurate as possible. And they both used the same measurement tools and the, the same instruments to uh, conduct the studies. And the overall point was to see if the TDCS actually had an effect on uh, improving motor learning in those tasks. And then after that, that was my first experience with undergrad research, I kind of realized that motor learning was not really what I wanted to focus on in my uh, undergrad research. So now I moved to Dr. Hubel's lab, which is more my, uh, m my interest, which is muscle physiology. And in particular, the study that I'm helping out is related to DOMS, delayed, muscle, uh, delayed onset muscle soreness and kinesio tape, where we'll take 36 participants and put them through a, uh, an eccentric exercise protocol. It's a maximal contraction of the non-dominant arm. You apply the kinesio tape and to see if it has any effect on the pain, the soreness, and the range of motion. And so my key takeaways from all of this were I, through undergrad research, I got to realize, do I actually enjoy research? And so far, I still enjoy doing undergrad research. I was able to narrow my interest down. I realized that I didn't particularly wanted to do motor learning, and now I'm in a lab that's more my interest. Obviously gained a lot of valuable experience in Dr. Riley's lab, and a big one was networking with faculty members and different GAs. I got to learn a lot about different programs, different schools, who I need to talk to, and uh, different aspects of how to reach my career goals. And that's it.